Hello, I'm Cesar Gonzalez. I'm a network photographer at NBC News. Welcome to NBCU Academy. Today we're gonna to talk about what it takes to be a network photographer at NBC News and also our gear. So what does it take? Let's get to it. This is the most basic camera package that we have access to. We have three cameras here and we're gonna start with this one. This is the most popular camera that we use. This is a gun and run camera where you pick up and you go. This is a Panasonic 5000, P2 5000. So uh, this is a camera that you see most photographers um, use for spot news, breaking news. This is your pick it up and get something on tape. Quality is amazing. It has a detachable lens. You have your media cards. It has a lot of buttons for audio. Just, it looks complicated, but it's not <clears throat> once you get to it. Um, beautiful camera. It's audio, wireless audio. This is, you see all, most photographers, you know, do press conferences, camera on the shoulder or also on a tripod. Amazing camera. The most, most common camera that we use. From there, we'll move on to this other beautiful, amazing, more of a production camera, sit down interview kind of camera. This is a Canon C300. It has detachable, attachable and detachable lenses. Uh, we use this camera more for a sit-down interview. Uh, it's more of a production camera. You would not want to pick this up and shoot. You can and shoot uh, spot news. Um, it's, it's a little more complicated. Your settings, your iris, it takes more of the menu setting to get what you need. You can still do it, but we usually don't. Detachable lenses. Um, this one is more of a wide-angle lens and a medium lens. This is the, the package that we have that, that works for us. Again, beautiful camera, you get a lot of depth of feel. When you do a sit down interview, use this lens, focus on your subject, your background just goes blurry. You get a lot of that with this camera, beautiful, beautiful camera. So then we move on to this camera. This is probably the, the best camera we have right now, uh, Vericam LT. Um, it's Similar to this from the same family, but this one is a high-end camera. Again, it, this is a sit-down production camera. You don't want to use it for you know running around shooting press conferences. Again, you can, but we don't recommend that we usually don't. More of a production camera, sit down, put on a tripod, um, look at your lighting, get your settings. We recently used this camera for a President Biden interview, and this is the cameras, the cameras that we use for the high-end production work. The picture of it is just beautiful. Again, your depth of feel with this camera is, is it's incredible. You zoom in on your subject, focus on your subject, and if you have a little bit of separation on your background, your background just goes blurry. Just beautiful, beautiful picture. It's uh, your subject pops. So these two cameras, they just take it to the next level. And this one right now is the best camera we have. And again, technology changes. So right now, this, this camera works for us. And uh, in five years, three years, you know, there might be something new, but the, the concept is the same. Let's talk about some advice and some tips I can give you to make your video even better. I'm gonna start with this. Don't worry so much about the gear. Um, if you wanna improve your photography, it starts with simply, simply just shooting. Uh, you can do it with your iPhone, you can do it with a point and click, just regular camera, um, any kind of camera. Just look at the viewfinder and shoot. Advice number one, just when you look in, when you're taking a picture, whether it's video or, 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 or still photo, always look at your junk space. Look at what you're trying to achieve and get rid of the junk space. That's super important. F frame your subject and always look at what's above, what's on the side or below. Get rid of that. Zoom in, walk in, get closer until you achieve what you're trying to photograph. When you do that over and over and over again, it, your framing improves dramatically. I know when I started shooting at NBC in Detroit, at WDIV TV, local news, I would always shoot, go back, look at my video, and, and look at my framing, analyze my framing, and see how I can improve, and I would catch some mistakes. Well, that could have been a little bit better. And then when my stories air on TV, I would just watch the story, turn off the sound, and, and just watch the video. What we do is storytelling. We tell stories with pictures, with these cameras. So I would watch my story, turn off the sound, and see if, it, if I could understand the story based on photos, on pictures. 
And if I understand the story, then I accomplish my, my, my goal, which is storytelling. And then backwards, turn off um, the video and just listen to the story just with sound. And if I can understand the story with sound, again, I achieve my, my goal. So what we do is storytelling. Tell a story with pictures. And it starts with framing. Again, don't worry so much about equipment, gear. This just makes your picture look more, the quality would be better and, and the color pops, but it starts with, with shooting. So my advice to you, shoot, 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 as much as you can and then build from there. So what's it like being a network cameraman at NBC News? It's an amazing career. What we do is truly incredible. We travel the world, we travel the country, sometimes with the president, sometimes in Air Force One. We get access to amazing things that we get to see and film with these cameras. It's a great career. It takes a lot, but it's achievable. So if this is the path you want to choose, all you gotta do is just put your heart into it, put your passion into it. When you do this and it does not feel like work, it feels like something that you love, that's when you know you're on the right path. Um, doing this, it's achievable, and some of the tips you know I just gave you would, should help you get there. So just go out there and practice, be patient, and you'll get there. I hope you learned something about what we do at the network as cameramen at NBC News. For more, check out NBCUAcademy.com. For NBC News Academy, I'm Cesar Gonzalez. Thanks for watching.